Hi and welcome to Demon Questions from On Maths, where we go through all of the trickier types of GCSE questions that you might face. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Chris Gilpin and welcome to Demon Questions. So, yet again we've got three more questions to delve through, so without further ado, let's get started. So. If you'd like to pause it, have a go. Okay, so let's have a look through this one. What's it asking us to do? Well, it's a direct proportion problem. If you think about it, the distance here and the amount of grams are directly proportionate to one another. If this doubles, then you'd expect the weight to double. Okay, that's what we mean by direct proportion. So, let's try and answer this question. So, we're going to have centimetres on this side, and we're going to have grams on this side, and let's put a black line going down to split the two up. So, this says it's 290 centimetres, and this one is 23.2 grams. Now we want to get 581 centimeters. That's where we want to get, and we want the amount of grams that's there. Now, what we can do is we can get what one centimeter is worth by dividing this by 290. But if I divide that side by 290, I've got to divide this side by 290. So I get my trusty calculator out, and 23.2 divided by 290 equals 0.08. Where am I? There we go. 0.08. So that gives me one centimeter. But the question doesn't ask me for one centimeter, it asks me for 581. So I'm going to have to times 1 by 581. And I'm going to do the same this side. Because whatever you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. So on my calculator, 0 0.08 times 581. And I have the answer 46.48. Now looking at that, I'm going to write that in as the answer. Now looking at that, does it make sense? Well, that is roughly doubled. The length has roughly doubled. Okay, and we're estimating that's nearly 600, that's pretty much 300. And this has doubled. So looking at that, yeah, I'm pretty confident that that is correct. So we can be quite happy with ourselves with that question. Fantastic. Okay. Ooh, gone the wrong way. Okay, so let's move on to the B grade question. And this is quite an interesting one. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, let's give it a go. So uh, we've got a triangular base prism and it's 6 by 4 by 2 and we've got density involved okay so some teachers hate these uh, triangles but I find them actually quite helpful uh, so I draw my triangle oh I, I had to come for a black line there we are I draw my triangle now what some people they remember that there's a triangle and they forget which one's at the top. If we have a look at the units here, it says grams per centimetres cubed. Well, this is mass, the grams, and this is volume. So this tells me that the mass is at the top, the volume's at the bottom, and the density's also at the bottom. Okay? So if you think about it, Anything that goes here, when you've got a unit of something per something, anything at the front of it 
it's always at the top of the triangle. If you think about it, miles per hour, okay? And if you think about um, like flow, um, liters per second, etc., etc., or rates, I should say. Okay, so we are looking for this one. That's what we're looking for. So it's density times volume. So we're going to have to times 5.5 .5 by the volume. Well, we don't actually have the volume, so we've got to find the volume. So the first bit of working out is volume equals, and the formula is uh, half of 6 times 4 times 2. Okay? So what you do is you treat it like a cuboid, you do 6 times 4 times 2, but a triangular base prism is exactly half of a cuboid. Okay, so you then have to halve it. Most people, A lot of people forget to halve it. So 6 times 4 times 2, and I press equals, then I divide by 2. And the answer my calculator gives me is 24. Okay. And so we want to find the mass. And according to my triangle, mass equals density times volume. So 5.5 .5 is the density. The volume is 24. So it's 5.5 .5 times 24. Type it into my calculator. It says 132. So 132 grams. And let's just check that that looks realistic. Um, yeah, I don't know how you check that looks realistic. I would look at this and go, well, I'm effectively doing 6 times 4, then I'm timesing it by 2, then I'm dividing it by 2. So the answer should just be 6 times 4, which it is. And six, let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's about, that would be over 100, because 20 times 5 is 100. And that is 132. So it looks good to me. Right, let's move on. Uh, so, oh, doing well with these controls. Obviously, I haven't done this for a while. So, our final question, our A stroke A star grade question, is one that I think will come up on quite a few of the paper twos. It is depreciation and compound interest normally go together because they're the same thing but reversed. So, if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so you might notice that there is something severely lacking in this question. It says there's a population, it's decreasing steadily, and that's quite important, that it's, it's, a, it's a constant rate. Uh, it's found the population is decreasing at a rate of that amount. How long would it take to be beneath 48%? Okay, so we've talked about, uh, in my videos before, about uh, a multiplier or in this case like we're using it to divide by and what we want on this one is to work out what percentage you're left with after after each time what you timesing a quantity by so if we imagine we had a quantity which we don't in this question what am I going to times it by to get the amount of population after the first year, after the second year, after the third year. And to do that, we always start off with 100%. We look at what it says in the question, okay? It's going down by 5.9%. And if I type that into my calculator, 100%, or just 100, take away 5.9, and it leaves 94 0.1. Now that's just a percentage at the moment. As a multiplier, I divide that by 100. In fact, let's do it on the calculator. Divide by 100, and I get 0 0.941. Okay, so that's what I'm going to times it by each time. So times it by 0.941. One. That's what I would times it by each time. Now, because I don't have a quantity, 
I'm just going to not use a quantity. Some people in some questions can just make up a quantity, so make up 100. And actually on this one it would work. If you make up 100 and then just wait until you get below 48%, if that, oh, 48 pounds, or 48, I should say, because there's no money in this question. So you just wait until you get below 48. You don't need to do that, you can just use the multiplier. So what I'm going to type into my calculator now is 0 0.941. I'm going to press the equals button to get it as an answer and then I'm going to times it by 0 0.941 now when I press equals it gives me the uh, multiplier for the second year okay so year one is just that okay so one is just this year two it's telling me it's 0 0.88 blah 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 okay I'm gonna press equals again because in the calculator it's just going to times the answer to that by 0 0.941 so equals again and I get 0 0.83 blah 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 equals again 0 0.78 blah 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 equals again 0.7378 blah 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 equals again this kind of gets boring <laughs> okay so this is where I wish I could fast forward because again 0.65 blah 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 equals again 0.61 blah 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 equals again 0.57 blah 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 equals again we're getting close you can feel we're getting close 0.54 blah 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 equals again 0.51 blah 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 getting very close now 0.482 now we're very close here but it says to be beneath 48% of what it is now so we're not beneath that we're still above it if you press equals again the 13th one you get 0.45 blah 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 okay so it's going to take 13 years to get beneath the 48% that's not the only way of doing that question. In fact, if you know anything about logarithms, there's a very, very easy way of doing that question. But since logarithms aren't taught at GCSE, uh, then you do not have to worry about it. Okay, so that's that. Um, quick and easy demon questions in a way today, but some really crucial topics for Edexcel, AQA, OCR uh, that haven't come up yet. Uh, loads of people have uh, asked me for a lot more of these demon questions so I will be focusing on trying to get quite a few more out. A lot of you have noticed that the previous six demon questions that I've uh, have put out, so six times three, so that's 18 questions, came up on the exams an awful lot. If you did the Edexcel one, the circle and the square question was pretty much word for word. So yay for demon questions. <laughs> Um, and that's probably why a lot of people have asked me to do more. If you if you have anything you want me to go through, please message me. Um, let me know. There's a forum on my website. We have Twitter, uh, everything else. Where is it? YouTube comments and Facebook as well. So there's plenty of chances for you to let me know. A lot of the demon questions I've done before, and hopefully a lot of the ones I will do in the future, have come from you guys at home. Um, I'd like to also thank you for all your very kind comments uh, about the website and everything else. I know the website had a slight hitch on the day before the exam. Um, there was over a million people trying to use it, which is very good in one hand, um, but the website clearly wasn't ready for it. Um, I've set up a second website, uh, which will be uh, will try and advertise as soon as it's needed. The second website um, is or everything on on maps.com on it um, but it has much bigger capacity servers so hopefully for paper two uh, you will all get access to the papers 
Thank you very much, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you really enjoyed it, please click subscribe. Thank you very much.